Welcome back, everybody, to Niagara University, Boy Arena, alongside Coach Dave Burkhold. Again, good news for hockey fans out there. Hot college hockey's uh, ready to go, ready to get started in a couple weeks, Coach. Bad news for you, you got to put up with me now for like, the next couple months. But uh, thanks, of course, for joining me again this season. Uh, just, Coach, just simply before we get started, how does it feel to be back? Oh, it's great. This is uh, year 21 for us at Niagara, and obviously with, uh, with some changes over the summer on staff and it's just a brand new year. It feels different, and we're just really excited to get it going. And coach, uh, two new coaches for you this year. I already talked to you about that whole process, but at this point, Coach Findor from previously uh, Utica College, um, Coach um, Moreau of a lot of NHL experience. Really, that's all it takes for him. Uh, how are they fitting in so far with the guys? It's been great. It's been fresh. It's been uh, it's been new. You know, uh, I think Michael uh, has a very diverse background. Uh, he was a defenseman in college, played at Miami of Ohio when, when um, you know, it was probably the best four years they've had as a program, went to uh, four NCAA tournaments. Uh, Michael played in the national championship game, uh, and it's the first time in a while since we've had an actual defenseman on staff, so I think he's going to be invaluable for our decor, um, you know, which we return a pretty solid and, and uh, older base back there. And then, as you mentioned, Ethan Moreau, uh, you know, 15 years in the National mm -hmm. Hockey League, you, you got to know something about hockey. So, uh, and he's a, he's a brilliant hockey mind. When you when you actually get a the coach's board out, put a pen in his hand, a marker in his hand, he's got a brilliant hockey mind. So, um, it was a long process, but we're just really excited that uh, that both are on staff and they have a unique background. So it's going to be a big help for us. Perfect, and as we mentioned already, Coach, you guys, uh, season's almost here, uh, a couple days away. You got your first exhibition game that's here at Boy Arena at 3 p.m. on Saturday for everyone out there against Western Ontario, a, a nice uh, a neighbor of the North, I guess, like last year. You had Wilfred Laurier coming down for an exhibition game. Uh, nice little tune-up, so you got that game. But last year, Coach, what I wanted to ask first was, you had that last year against Wilfred Laurier, and then a couple weeks you are gone. We weren't here, I didn't see you for a while. Uh, but this year, you guys got uh, Western Ontario, then Holy Cross right away, starting the season at home. Just how, how, how big is that for you guys to just get your feet wet at home, uh, you don't have to travel around, and all that? Yeah, I think it's big. Um, you know, we're, we're a little concerned in that it's a holiday weekend, it's a long weekend, not sure if the students will be around, but to be able to open up at home in, in huge conference games against Holy Cross, who's um, one of the top picks in Atlantic hockey, so that'll be that'll be a good test as to where we are. So, um, the Western Ontario game is big in that um, you know other than the guys that are injured, we're gonna have some players that aren't available to us: um, Sarcona, Kovacis, uh, Cooner, uh, Stan. There's some some veterans that that won't play in the exhibition game, but uh, Western Ontario comes in as one of the top teams in all of Canada. They're they're nationally ranked, so. Um, it's, again, it's going to be a good game to see uh, see most of our guys get their first ta taste of uh, college hockey. And coach, you mentioned there are a lot of returners uh, won't play this weekend. Only an exhibition game, but comparatively to last year, huge freshman class. This year, a little bit smaller. You almost can't get bigger than the one you guys had last year in, in underclassmen. So, what are you expecting from all those guys now that they have? Uh, either a year or two under their belt, all your big group of returners. Sure, yeah, we had 10, 10 freshmen last year, so that, that sophomore class of 10, uh, we really counted on last year, and, and they got to play a lot for a lot of reasons. Most of them deserved. Uh, some, some got in maybe because of injuries, but they used, you know, used that to their advantage. So, But I think as a group of 10, they really grew together, and they're really close on and off the ice. So that, that's a solid group of 10 that we're going to rely on heavily. And then to add, we added to that our uh, nine freshmen, so that's that's a group that's all going to be able to come in. The, you know, if you look at them on paper, the stats from their junior various junior hockey leagues across North America, they're you know there's a lot of big time scorers, and, and it should add depth to all our position. 